No, I'm gonna. I'm asking a serious question here, though. Okay. And just, just, just tell me if this is just a, if this is foreign, completely foreign to you, or if you've ever experienced anything like this. You at home too. The question is for you. Have you ever been fearful of success? Meaning, so I sit down, I write this chord progression, and I hum something over it, and I like it. I like it a lot. And a, a normal person would hit the record button and keep it. I don't, and I put the guitar down, I get up and I walk away. And I go, okay, I'll do it in a minute. It's not procrastination, it's self-sabotage, right? Yep. Have you ever experienced anything like this? Because I feel like, I, I feel like I'm a fucking alien. I, anybody else would say, hey, let's, let's work with it, let's go with this. No, nope. gets up and walk away. There's, there's scenes in movies where somebody dies and you see the, you see the spirit rise from the body and walk away. And I've, it, it, as goofy as that sounds, that's how it feels. And I'm kind of looking back, I can feel part of me looking back going, what the fuck are you doing over here? You're supposed to be over there. This is where the, that's where the action is. And I'm walking away. Have you ever? So are you like walking away? Like, this is like out of perfection. Like this isn't perfect enough. And, uh, just to kind of retreat or it could be that but I, I think most of all I think it just seems to me like that it's a uh, is it a deserving feeling do you feel like you don't deserve something I want this but I don't deserve something or is it or is it like it's not ready it's not ready it's not ready you know it's like kind of get stuck in the gate you know where it's like man I got to get out of the gate with this project idea task whatever it is and you kind of keep it in the gate yeah, I, I, again, I don't know. That's even further than I thought. I'm just, I'm, I'm wondering because there's been, uh, I've, so today is Slapper Day, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. We're, uh, we're on our way to Beaumont and then tomorrow we're going to Brenham. And I had this piece I've been working on and it was a little mashup, which will show its face, but I got to the point where I was really digging the piece that I wrote, and then I was putting a, a popular piece in with it. And I wasn't worried about the popular piece, because that's easy, that's, that's been done. However, the part that I wrote hadn't been done, I hadn't seen the light of day, it's not a, And I'm in there, I'm enjoying it, and I was like, all right, good, all right, I'm gonna hit record. All right, well, I'll do it in a minute. I fucking got walked away, I was like, no trace of it. Now I can get close to it again, yeah, I get, but again, I don't know why. I, I just don't know what the hell, uh, what that is. When you hit record or don't hit record, are you plugged in? Is it something you can just hit record, like get up before you go rehearse or write, just hit record and don't think about it? Then go get your coffee, get a second to sort of get away from that it's being recorded? Yeah, I've never done that either. Like trick yourself? Yeah. I don't know if it'll work. I'm yeah. just thinking off the cuff. But see, yeah. I'm offering solutions. You didn't ask. Yeah. This is exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, I did ask. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering if anybody's ever had that and an experience like that. It bring, doesn't quite ring a bell. For yeah, me, it's not. It's, it's not going for a possible solution to that as well. So just the whole recording situation. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think one. Yeah, something that could help me. Uh, if I would be. Uh, Something that would help you is uh, like hit record and just start playing away for like a half an hour, or an hour, and then like I feel like eventually at that point you would like probably forget that you're being recorded. Yep. It kind of takes that pressure off having to get it get one perfect short recording and then have to like stop it or restart it. Uh, at least for me, it kind of takes the pressure off. So, like there were times uh, when I was like playing for uh, for grad school, I had to like send some recordings of myself uh, playing uh, songs on. Uh, piano and guitar and I, and I kind of tried that strategy out a little bit just kind of playing it record for as long as it could and then, uh, and then just uh, kind of go from there the ninja attack you kind of sneak up and I go ah basically okay mm. it's, yeah I, I, I've never heard of I've never heard of that before but I do and it, it's not procrastination because I'm already doing it but I don't hit record and it's the so there is a perfection about there is a perfection aspect to it but that's again that's nobody ever it doesn't get past the touch the screen start the recording it doesn't get past that mm -hmm. so obviously you can hit a race and that's perfect you know I'm coming over more huh I'm coming over more I'm gonna hit record hold it you can't get it <laughs> like a little brother neener neener yeah <laughs>